then afterwards we have the visitors section, which is which is obligatory when you visit the EU Parliament. But we got fortunately we got the short version. And yeah, did anyone learn something new? Well, it was it was pretty much the same. Well, we were introduced to the day before on Tuesday, so yeah, and yeah, there was also Amelia speaking to us. We're in the fortunate situation now that the European Commission, by low stroke of activities, tried to set up a program to avoid copyright reform called Licenses for Europe. Licenses for Europe is a way of not dealing with the fact that teachers are criminal when they make education in schools and that students are criminal when they put papers and that, well, okay, so we are also criminals when we file share, but um, in addition, libraries are uh, criminals when they are digitalizing our cultural heritage. So that's a bit of a problem. We talked about anonymity before, how do you hide who you are, how do you hide your networks, and you actually also want to hide your behavior on the internet. So very simple things that you can do is to disable webbugs. Webbugs are little pieces of code, code that are uh, in a lot of web pages. Uh, and basically what it does is it's just uh, activated every time you open the web page and it sees which website you're on, which IP address you're coming from, um, it's, it might even, it, it's going to see which browser you're using and all kinds of information that you might not want to, to share with people. Uh, and there are some simple tools, uh, Ghostery I think is, is one of the best ones, you just install it in your browser and it's basically going to kill a lot of those uh, webbugs. Things like uh, Google Analytics and there's literally hundreds of uh, those kinds of uh, software. It don't appear to be that hard to have your own crypto party, so perhaps we'll do that when we get home. We try to like teach people why, I mean I actually got a question once, why people should care about who's reading their text messages from a little girl that I was trying to convince why privacy is a good thing. And I had quite a hard time convincing her that privacy was good, but with Prism, because this was before Prism, like, all that stuff, this I think that this would be really useful. Just now there was a, a vote about, uh, you know, how, how it's called, uh, in, actual impeachment of the board, the whole board. Because everyone showed them there are just two or three people, let's say, that are uh, arguing about something and they are doing it wrong and blah, blah, blah. And that they are in a, a you know, minority. So uh, it's good for the board to know if they are so they are wanted. Were, yeah, they were still supported by the majority. Yeah, yeah, So they were doing it right. Mm -hmm. Get up, go get it now, don't stop You gotta keep on pushing till you reach the top Stay in perpetual motion, perpetual motion, perpetual motion Now don't stop Get up, go get it now, don't stop You gotta keep on pushing till you reach the top Stay in perpetual motion, perpetual motion, perpetual motion Now, now what's an idea? Let's